July 29, 2019 Memorial of St. Martha A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, front and back, tablets that were made by God, having inscriptions on them that were engraved by God himself. Now when Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, That sounds like a battle in the camp. But Moses answered, It does not sound like cries of victory, nor does it sound like cries of defeat. The sounds that I hear are cries of revelry. As he drew near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. With that, Moses' wrath flared up, so that he threw the tablets down and broke them on the base of the mountain. Taking the calf they had made, he fused it in the fire and then ground it down to powder, which he scattered on the water and made the children of Israel drink. Moses asked Aaron, What did this people ever do to you that you should lead them into so grave a sin? Aaron replied, Let not my Lord be angry. You know well enough how prone the people are to evil. They said to me, Make us a God to be our leader. As for the man Moses, who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. So I told them, let anyone who has gold jewelry take it off. They gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and this calf came out. On the next day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord then. Perhaps I may be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Ah, this people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. If you would only forgive their sin. If you will not, then strike me out of the book that you have written. The Lord answered, Him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now, go and lead the people to the place I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. July 29th, the Memorial of St. Martha. The first reading comes from Exodus 32, 15 to 24, and 30 to 34. Moses has received the Ten Commandments on two tablets. He's bringing them down from the mountain when he hears a noise in the camp. The noise is that because he tarried on the mountain, 
The Israelites have grown weary of waiting for him, and they have created their own god. It's a golden calf, which they asked Aaron to make. Remember, the Israelites were strictly forbidden from making any sort of idol which they might worship. And when Moses comes down and asks Aaron what has happened, Aaron gives a half-hearted defense, saying the people were waiting for you, that they were looking for a leader, you weren't coming. So I threw their gold jewelry into the fire and this came out, as if it's not his fault. Moses goes back up the mountain and asks for forgiveness of the sins they've committed. Because Moses is an intercessor, even when the Israelites turn against him, he intercedes in their behalf. This is John 11, 19 to 27. This is the story of how Lazarus, the brother of Martha and Mary, has died. And Jesus was called, but he waited where he was for a few days until after the death of the, their brother. In fact, he was four days dead when Jesus finally arrived. Four days meaning that he was irretrievably dead. The Jews believe that the soul stayed in the body for three days. If he's four days dead, he can't be brought back. Well, Martha comes out to greet Jesus and said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. This is the exact same thing that Mary would say when she comes out. Sisters are disappointed that Jesus didn't come back when he was first called. And so they express that to Jesus. But they also express their faith. Martha says, but even now I know whatever you ask of God, God will give. Jesus tells Martha that her brother would rise. And Martha, who believes in the resurrection of the dead, says, I know on the last day. Jesus responds, I am the resurrection and the life. Notice, he is not saying, I'll give your brother the resurrection. He says, I am. As soon as we come to know Jesus in some way, we've already risen. We've passed outside of this life to a new life. He asks Martha, do you believe? Her response, yes, Lord. I've come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Notice this is a very powerful profession of faith. In the Synoptic Gospels, it's Peter who makes a profession similar to this. In John's Gospel, which even though it doesn't accent the role of women as much as Luke does, it's Martha who makes this profession of faith.